fighting crime can be exhausting sometimes. But that's why the Unstoppables have mended naps. Hey there! Hi there, my name's Daphne. Would it be okay if we set up shop here? Well, that would be an illusion. I'm actually two people, myself and my alter ego. Thanks. Not everyone has room for both me and my alter ego. Oh, I'd like a pet someday, like a rabbit in a hat or a cat, but I mean myself and my alter ego. Wait, you wouldn't just be getting rid of me. I also have an alter ego. That's right. By day, I'm Daphne, a mild-mannered assistant to help you with your camp. By night, I'm someone else. The Wizard of the Wasteland, a seeker of truth and justice. I point the looking glass to your eye and a magnifying glass to the world. I'm the super and duper, one of a kind magician detective, the Inspector. On behalf of both myself and the Inspector, thank you. Thanks. I try to read plenty of books. Not all of them have pictures either. Maybe someday I'll show you. That's not a yes, but that doesn't sound like a no either. I'll go get my stuff. I like to cook for fun, but right now I can only make teas. Okay, no, what do you need? Everyone appears to have died. This sure. is terrible. Error. Terrible. I heard the inspector was here. I wonder if I'll meet her Please someday. Complete. Oh, oh, oh. How's it going? Okay, what do you need? Um, I can wish you good luck. I think I've already wished you good luck today. All right. Okie dokie, what do you want to know? I guess so. I think most kids have a mommy, a daddy, one teddy bear, and one imaginary friend. Franklin I lost, running in the woods. He was my bear. I don't know about the rest. It could, but it might be too hard, even for you. But I still have hope. The inspector will solve the case. She can do anything. It's okay. There isn't really much to talk about because I don't really remember a whole lot. But I still have hope. The inspector is on the case and she can solve anything. That would be great, but I don't even have one. But I used to have one, I think, so maybe the inspector can figure out what happened. But the inspector found Franklin. He was alive. Someone put a cigar in his mouth, which seemed pretty unhealthy, but he looked good. So I think you might be wrong about the others, too. Maybe. That and I like finding stuff. Most of our cases aren't as exciting as in the comics, though. But we usually solve them, so that's good. Nothing, really. I just woke up one day with a headache and I was alone. There was a backpack next to me. It looked like it belonged to a grown-up. Inside was a magnifying glass, some food, and the unstoppable shindig board game. I think whoever it belonged to, we used to play together. Not yet, but that doesn't mean they aren't out there. We just need to look in the right place or cast the right spell. Me 
too. Hopefully someday soon. The inspector would never give up, so neither will I. Do you mean Sherman? He's a friend. Also, he's imaginary. That's kind of why I stopped talking to him. I figured it was time the inspector and I found some real friends, like you. He was a good friend, though. He was super smart and liked tea. Uh, we actually parted ways a long time ago. I kind of needed to, for me. I thought it was best to connect with real people, like yourself. So, that's why I'm here. We could have had a tea party. It would have been great. Sherman loved tea, but I don't think I would have met you if I stayed attached to Sherman. So I'm glad things turned out the way it did. It's okay. Sherman and I don't talk anymore. It was hard to understand him anyway with that thick British accent of his. But one day, it just hit me that I needed real friends like you. And poof. Just like that, he was gone. No, Sherman was the inspector's former apprentice. He would give helpful advice and had a British accent, but I kind of outgrew him. I figured it was time to find some real friends, you know? Maybe you could be that person? Thanks. You know, you'd make a great unstoppable. With you on our side, nothing can stop us. I know the name already says that, but we'd be extra super duper unstoppable with sugar on top. But thanks. I guess what I'm saying is, it means a lot to have you as family. Wow, I didn't think of it that way. But you aren't that old. Maybe more like a big brother? I've always wanted one of those too. Wow, that sounds really mean. Luckily, I don't know what projecting means, or I'd feel really bad. I'm gonna take it. You mean we're the bestest friends in the whole, 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 whole wide world. So there. All right. I'm just regular old Daphne, but all right. Sometimes, to be honest, there's a lot of pressure to be as smart as the inspector. Like the other day, I read something about the inspector being intrepid, intrep, pepper, and I wasn't sure what it meant. That sounds about right. The inspector is super brave. I really appreciate you helping me learn new stuff. Me neither, but I'm trying to get better, I promise. But the inspector knows every single one, from aardvark to zebra, which means I have a lot of work to do. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to disappoint the inspector or myself. Oh, wow. I'm still struggling with American words. I haven't even started on all the foreign ones. I guess all I can do is keep reading and learning. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to disappoint the inspector or myself. Uh, maybe? That might be a question for the inspector. Okie dokie. Understood. Abracadabra, Inspecto Changeo! Wanna be my partner in crime stopping? When's the next superhero meeting? I'll bring the snacks. Ah, another client for the inspector. 
What do you need? The latest in illusion spells and magical artifacts. I may be a magician detective, but I still have plenty of attack spells. Water balloons, motor oil, hate bombs, the works. Ah, another client for the inspector. What do you need? As a master magician, I am no stranger to the arcane. My spell can boost your overall perception and help you find extra food and money. Okay. Hold still. Abracadabra. Cast out Percepto! When's the next superhero meeting? I'll bring the snacks. Looks like you've already gotten an enchantment, hero. Come back later and I'll recast it. Affirmative, hero. Very well, detective. The inspector shall become the inspected. Good question, my fellow detective. There are two kinds of magicians after all, the kind that tricks you and the kind that casts spells. The inspector is the third kind, the one that casts a spell to trick you into revealing the truth. Yeah, catching the bad guys is just the first step. You have to prove they're baddies or they're back on the streets. But flight won't help people find their parents or solve the mystery of the missing teddy bear. There is no more useful magic than the power of investigation. Of course, I am no mere magician. I am a magical detective. Big difference. Naturally, you hired me, so you already have a strong third eye. It's key for any magician slash detective. You will. Just point me to a mystery or a tasty tree, and the inspector will eat it or solve it. You're a meanie. But the inspector won't let that stop her. Besides, she knows you don't mean it. Otherwise, you wouldn't keep her around. Good plan. Even though the inspector is a leader, she leads from behind where no one will suspect her. Then, in the last episode comes the big reveal. I can't wait. Yeah, but first, we're gonna need to conjure you an outfit. Not one with a cape, though. I don't have a cape, so you can't have one either. The rules for sidekicks are strict, but fair. Why, yes, just the other day I solved a particularly troublesome mystery. I call it the inspector in the case of the growling stomach. It was a tough nut to crack until I found a can of mixed nuts, at which point the case was closed. I just solved a very tough case recently, the case of the cold feet. Using my detective skills, I found the culprit. It wasn't shaky nerves, but a hole in my sock. Then, using my magical sewing wand, I patched the hole up. Case and sock closed. Oh, I've got plenty in the files. One of the hardest to solve was the mystery of the poor sleep. It all started when I had a bad dream about being really cold. But in my investigation, I discovered a powerful artifact a blanket of warmth. Wrapping it around me, I was able to close the case and finally sleep. Three things, a good heart, a strong will, and most important of all, alliteration. Wow, you're really good at superhero talk. I've still got a lot of work to catch up.
Indeed, for the impressive imagination of the inspector knows no bounds. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> I haven't been able to come up with a new sentence since. That's okay. That just means you have nowhere to go but up. I'm the same when it comes to superhero talk. Of course it does. For the inspector, everything is. But really, it's super duper hard. Especially the last part. If I'm being honest, my vocabulary is still a work in progress. It's my greatest weakness, but if I keep studying, I'm going to turn it into my greatest strength. Just you wait, my mighty... Uh... Sounds like a bad guy word. Um, uh, well, we'll figure it out. Just you wait, my mighty, uh... I don't think you're that. That would mean I'm married. <laughs> no thanks. Just you wait, my mighty, uh... Yeah, friends to the end. Just you wait, my mighty, uh... Is that really your alter ego? I see you more as a butterfly than a moth, but that's just me. I'm your friend either way. Just you wait, my mighty, uh... Yeah, what you said. You're really, really good at this. No wonder you're the hero of the wasteland. The inspector will be happy to consult with you. What would you like to talk about? Of course. One of the first things I did as inspector was search for my unstoppable comrades. So, I know all about the order of mysteries and the fate of my rival, the mistress. Well, why don't you tell me about it, so I can compare notes and make sure we're on the same page. And she didn't invite the inspector? How mean! Not that I wanted to be part of their team anyway. The inspector doesn't make mysteries. She solves them. Wow, really? I mean, of course. Everyone knows that orphan girls are the strongest, smartest, most magical people in the universe. Egos and politics, I bet. It's not the first time it's messed up a superhero team. I had the same problem with Sherman, my imaginary friend and former apprentice. He said people scream for ice cream. As a detective, I said it would be hard to scream when you have a brain freeze. Since we didn't have any actual ice cream to solve the mystery, we had to part ways. The divide between us was just too great. Wrong. There's nothing I don't know. Using investigation or magic. I just left my wand at the wand shop. <laughs> yep. That's what I did. Understood. Affirmative, hero. Affirmative, hero. As sick Rognak is the muscle, but only the inspect... The in... Our stalwart hero emerges from the shadows. How goes the nightly patrol? Yeah, bad guys in bright colors, two things that don't stand a chance against the Silver Shroud. Anyways, it's been a while since we got to catch up, my dark detective. Are you still best friends with the mistress? Oh, good. I wouldn't want you to lose your edge. It's something every crime fighter needs. 
besides a bag full of candy to last the night. Oh, good. I wouldn't want you to lose your edge. It's something every crime fighter needs, besides a bag full of candy to last the night. That's too bad. You know what would cheer you up? A team up with your unstoppable friend, the Inspector! Anyways, it's been a while since we got to catch up, my dark detective. Are you still best friends with the mistress? Ew, you guys are in love? I mean, <clears throat> as the Inspector, I should warn you, that's a surefire way to get cooties. But you're a grown-up. I'm sure you know what you're doing, even if it sounds kind of gross. A shame. Well, I hope you two work things out. Otherwise, it's just going to be awkward around headquarters. That's good to hear. The criminals of Appalachia don't stand a chance against you two. I only ask because you look kind of lonely. But I'm glad it was nothing. A shame. Well, I hope you two work things out. Otherwise, it's just going to be awkward around headquarters. When you combine the powers of magic and deductive reasoning, nothing can stop you. The inspector is on the case. The inspector will be happy to consult with you. What would you like to talk about? Marvelous mistress. It's rare to see outside the den of mysteries. What brings you here? Really? I always thought we were natural rivals. Well, I'm glad we get to chat. I was worried you might not like me, given our backgrounds. Oh, so you aren't gonna say? I figured. We are natural rivals, after all. Ooh, maybe I can help. That is, if you don't mind having me for a partner. We are natural rivals, after all. You're a mistress of mystery, with tons of secrets to hide. And as the inspector, I uncover secrets, and I'm always poking around. Oh, is it because I looked through your stuff? I was just investigating the case of a lost button. But don't worry, I solved it. I won't do it again. Oh, good. Sometimes my investigating leads me to people's things and I go through their stuff. I'm glad you weren't sore about it. It was a really important case. We should be partners then. We can solve mysteries, make witty banter, and eat all the snacks. I'll try not to, my mysterious uh, madam. Ugh. Talking like a superhero is hard. I really need to up my vocabulary if I'm going to be an unstoppable. Oh, good. Sometimes my investigating leads me to people's things and I go through their stuff. I'm glad you weren't sore about it. It was a really important case. Greetings, citizen. I go by... The inspector will be happy to consult with you. What would you like to talk about? Our fearless barbarian. I thought I recognized that loincloth, but I wasn't sure it was you. True, my brave barbarian. Dr. Brainwash is pretty sneaky, but I don't think he'd want to wear that. He likes the big, geeky lab coats. That's right. I inspected your outfit and realized who you were. But then I double-checked with magic, and everyone knows magic's the most reliable science. An excellent.
excellent theory. And using my powers of deduction, I think we're gonna be the best of friends. Hmm, but if you were, you'd be evil. And my magic detects very low levels of evil. At least right now. Anyways, when is the next Unstoppables meeting? Sorry if I've missed the last few. Oh no, are you guys fighting? I really hope not. I want everyone to get along. But the rest of the gang isn't here. I think your watch might be wrong. Aren't you still using rocks to tell time? <laughs> Fear not. I'm gonna try extra hard to conjure up some cakes and tea so everyone can make nice and we can have the best meeting ever. Uh huh, it's okay. No one expects you to be up with the times. I wonder if the Shrouder Mistress would know. <laughs> Fear not. I'm gonna try extra hard to conjure up some cakes and tea so everyone can make nice and we can have the best meeting ever. But you're my most important assistant. Although, I guess you've got more of a hands-off management style than I do. Unless it's time to crush our enemies, then you're pretty hands-on. <laughs> Fear not. I'm gonna try extra hard to conjure up some cakes and tea so everyone can make nice and we can have the best meeting ever. Hello, fellow superhero. For a limited time only, the inspector will be happy to consult with you. What would you like to talk about? Manta Man, I was just reading about your fight against the evil Kamikaze. I didn't realize our oceans were being attacked by communists. Oh, wow. I didn't know fish could fall victim to evil. Probably something they learned in school. But yeah, communists or not, I don't know how you fight dolphins. They're so adorable. That's good to know. Pollution isn't just bad, it's un-American. But yeah, communists or not, I don't know how you fight dolphins. They're so adorable. But they aren't comics, they're history books. More importantly, it's our history. We shouldn't forget it so easily. I don't know. That sounds fishy. Of course, you're man to man, so if something's fishy, you would know. The Unstoppables issue number three? Don't tell me you've forgotten your own history. But yeah, communists or not, I don't know how you fight dolphins. They're so adorable. Those poor dolphins. I mean, <clears throat> communists deserve no mercy. Anyways, I'll leave the ocean commies to you, Manta Man. I'm not a very good swimmer, so it's probably best I fight for freedom, justice, and the right to grow hamburgers on land. As a fellow American superhero, I salute you and your sacrifice. But Mirelurks are scary looking. It's way easier to shoot something if it's gross. Oh no, not seals. Those are the puppies of the ocean. But as superheroes, we've got a job to do. Can't let cuteness stand in our way. Good idea. Maybe next time I can use my magic to change their faces too. For a hello fellow superhero. The inspector under I like making simple fern flower tea. Why? Because it has simple right in the name. I made a pumpkin soup the other day. 
Minus the pumpkin. I guess it was just soup. Hiya! You should talk to the inspector sometime. She's way more interesting than I am. I like cats. They're good at sneaky stuff. But if you need a magician's assistant, it's best to go with a rabbit. When you combine the powers of magic and deductive reasoning, nothing can stop you. The inspector is on the case. The inspector sees all and knows all. How? Deduction and magic. That's how. Rognak is the muscle. The Shroud and the Mistress are the spies. And man to man does. Uh, I don't know, fish man spell. But only the inspector can solve the case. I go by many names the Enchantress of Appalachia, the Wizard of the Wasteland, the Inspector of the Uninspected, and sometimes Daphne.